Conversion of galvanometer to voltmeter. Aim to convert the given galvanometer of known resistance and figure of merit into a voltmeter of desired range, say 0 to 3 volt, and to verify the same. Principle A galvanometer is a sensitive device which can detect the presence of very small current in a circuit of the order of 100 milliampere. A galvanometer has low resistance and hence large current flows through it. The galvanometer can be converted to a voltmeter by connecting a large resistance in series with it and it can be used to measure the potential difference across a section of the circuit. This will ensure that the galvanometer draws very small current from the circuit. Hence, voltage measurement will not have much effect on the original circuit setup. If G is the resistance of the galvanometer, IG, the current required to produce full-scale deflection in the galvanometer, then the resistance to be joined in series with galvanometer to convert it into a voltmeter of range V volts can be found using the relation R is equal to V upon IG minus G. Materials required A galvanometer of known resistance and figure of merit A battery eliminator One-way key A rheostat a voltmeter of 3 volt range. Connecting wires. A resistance box. Procedure. Take a galvanometer with known value of resistance G and figure of merit K. These values may be given to you directly or can be found using the figure of merit experiment. Note the total number of divisions N on either side of the zero of galvanometer. Calculate IG, the current required to produce full-scale deflection in the galvanometer from the formula IG is equal to NK. Calculate the value of the series resistance R to be connected in series with galvanometer for the desired range V using the relation R is equal to V upon IG minus G. You can take V as 3 volts. Connect the high resistance box in series with the galvanometer and take out the plugs of calculated resistance R. Tighten rest of the plugs in the resistance box. The galvanometer can now be used as a voltmeter of range V volts. Calculate the least count of the converted voltmeter as the ratio of desired range of voltmeter to the number of divisions on galvanometer. Here, least count is equal to 0.1 volt per division. For verification, arrange the apparatus as in the circuit diagram. Using the connecting wires, connect the positive terminal of the battery eliminator to the lower fixed terminal of the rheostat. Connect the positive terminal of the voltmeter to the same lower end of the rheostat. From this terminal of rheostat, make another connection to the positive terminal of converted galvanometer. The negative terminal of the galvanometer is connected to one of the terminal of the high resistance box. Connect the other terminal of the resistance box to the upper or variable terminal of the rheostat. Connect the negative terminal of voltmeter also to the same terminal of rheostat. Make another connection from the lower terminal of rheostat to one terminal of the one-way key. Connect the other end of one-way key to the negative terminal of the battery eliminator. Notice that the voltmeter and the converted galvanometer are connected parallel to each other. Hence, voltage across them will be same. Now, make sure you have taken out the plugs of calculated resistance R from the resistance box 
connected in series to the galvanometer. Ensure that the connections are tight and insert the key. Adjust the movable contact of the rheostat so that the deflection in the galvanometer becomes maximum. The rheostat here will act as a potential divider. Note the readings of the galvanometer and voltmeter. Convert the galvanometer reading to volts using the relation V1 is equal to number of divisions in galvanometer N multiplied by least count of the converted voltmeter. Calculate the difference between the readings of voltmeter and galvanometer as the error. Move the rheostat slider and take few more observations covering the whole range of voltmeter that is 0 to 3 volts. Record your observations. Results The conversion is verified as the error or difference in actual and measured value of potential difference is very small.